Welcome back to the off-grid Aussie family. Well, it's been a while. It was a bit of a hectic trip to get here. We blew the radiator an hour and a half away from home, so we had to stay at Amy's Nana's. Got a new radiator fitted and we were back on our way. We've been here for eight days now. We've been pretty busy. It's been pretty hard to get a video up. We've got absolutely no phone service or anything down here. You have to travel for about 20 minutes to get any phone service. Um, but I'll give you guys a bit of a look around. That's the beast of a car that got us here with a few dramas but ended up getting us here. Um, the solar panels, the shower. Uh, we've got a little, a little storage tent over there that we just use to store things in. There's little Tucker. So hello YouTube. Um, and this is the this is where we all hang out at night around the fire. It gets quite cold here. The other morning we had a minus 10 degree morning and the lake was frozen over. All our storage water was frozen, so it does get quite cold. And that's what we're living in at the moment. The tent. I'll take his in there because the kids want to be on YouTube anyway. Our little cooking stove and Zane here. We've got. This is sort of like our kitchen, I guess. It's a bit trashed at the moment. And then through here, this is where little Matilda sleeps. Obviously the tent's usually shut up at night. And three kids sleep there. And me, Amy and little Tucker sleep there. And these are the two heaters that we use to keep us warm. And they do quite good. They do chew through a bit of fuel on the generator, but we all manage to keep warm. Um, take you back outside, Gypsy. Come on. Dog's bit of a funny story. Um, the dog got stuck down a, or we thought she was stuck down a wombat hole, but she just refused to come out. So she was down there for quite a while. We were pretty convinced she was stuck down there, but she wasn't. She just didn't want to come out. And now she makes a bit of a habit of going down wombat hole, so she's quite dirty. Aren't you, Gypsy? You're a dirty dog going down the wombat hole. You can probably see the mountains in the background there. So it's not going to be a long video because I'm not sure how we're going to upload it, but there's our timber supplies. We've had all the, or most of our timber delivered already. I'll take you over to the cabin site. So yeah, it has been pretty hectic. That's why we haven't uploaded any videos. Um, it's probably about a 30 to 40 minute drive into town just to get service or to get supplies. Oh, there goes a kangaroo. You probably missed that, but the dog didn't miss it. There's heaps of kangaroos around, heaps and heaps of wombats around. The other day we blew our generator, so we had to buy a new generator. So we've got a bigger one. This one runs everything quite easily. And up this way, through the trees, is where the start of our cabin is. We've got a fair way. We've been, we've been working on it for two days, I think. So two days we haven't done too badly. We've got a few of the floor joists in, but not a lot. It took quite a while to square it all up. That was probably the biggest challenge. All the posts are cemented in. Miter saw. And yeah, it's a bit, bit messy up here. We've only just finished work. And I thought I'd try and make a video to show you guys that we haven't dropped off the planet, we're still alive. We've just been very, very flat out. So we'll definitely try and get a video up uh, weekly. So it'll probably be another one in a week. But yeah, this is where we're at. And it's been very, very hectic, flat out. Always something to do, always something needs doing. I should, after I do this video, I've got to go and chop firewood so we've got some warmth for tonight. Got to bath the dog because she's filthy from going down the wombat holes. 
but yeah it's been good we've all been enjoying it or most of the time sometimes it gets stressful Matilda's had a bit of trouble sleeping at night in the tent but she's just starting to settle in Tucker's definitely settling in you can see Amy and Tanner down there Amy's all rugged up it's a bit shaky zoom out a little bit but yeah it's been good hasn't it Josh yep been having fun yeah. So, um, obviously, oh, better, oh, geez, no one wants to see that. Ooh. So it's going to be hard for me to answer comments, but if you leave a comment, I will get to it eventually. We're going to town probably every two days. We're trying to stretch it out to every three days because it's not cheap rate running back in, back and forth into town. So bear with us with the comments, but we'll definitely answer the comments. And yeah, we'll do another update in probably in about another week. There should be a fair bit more of the cabin done because we really are keen on getting out of the tent. It's a bit hectic in the tent. But yeah, so thanks for watching. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you next time.